The northern right whale is a magnificent whale that lives in the northern Atlantic Ocean. They can measure from 13 to 16 meters long and weigh more than 70,000 kilograms. It is one of three right whales and it is the most endangered of them all. And that is because they are a perfect target for whalers. Because they stay very close to the coast, they are very slow, and when they are killed, they float to the top because of the bubbler content in their skin. And that also makes them produce even more whale oil than most other whales. With the massive and uncontrollable weighting of these species, they are now down to approximately 500 to 1,000 individuals in the world. The Amur leopard, also known as the Siberian leopard or the Far Eastern leopard, is native to the region of southeastern Russia and northeastern China. There are many factors that made the Amur leopard a critical endangered species, but poaching and habitat loss were the two main factors. In 2007, there were only 19 to 26 individuals left in the world and the species was almost extinct. But then the population started growing again because of intense conservation programs. In 2015 there were 60 individuals, and now in 2018 there are a little bit more than 100. It is really awesome that this species is getting population again, but they are still in great danger. The Tapanuli orangutan lives exclusively in the island of Sumatra in Indonesia. It is the most endangered orangutan species and great ape. With fewer than 800 individuals left, and with only 1,000 km square of area for the entire species, the Tapanuli orangutans are in great danger. There are many factors that have put the Tapanuli orangutan in this horrible danger, but the most noticeable are the reduction of their habitat because of palm oil, hunting, and illegal pet trade. The Saola, also called Asian unicorn, is one of the world's rarest mammals. It lives in Vietnam and Laos. The Saola was discovered very recently, in 1992 to be exact, and it was first photographed until 1999. Since it was discovered, it is known that this animal is extremely rare. But what truly makes this animal extremely endangered is of course the hunting for their fur and meat. Their habitat loss and also human proximity makes them less likely to reproduce. They now have a very small piece of habitat for them, but even though they have a small habitat, conservation groups have still managed to remove more than 26,000 traps in their habitats. The Javan rhino can measure more than 3 meters long and 1.7 meters tall. It has only one horn and a very small head. Every single Javan rhino left lives in Indonesia, in the Ujung Kulong National Park. Before, there was also another national park in Vietnam called Kat Tien National Park, which also had Javan rhinos in conservation. But in 2011, all of the Javan rhinos there unfortunately died. There are only 60 Javan rhinos left in the world. The population dropped so low because of the hunting for the horns. Fortunately, this does not happen anymore because they all live in a protected area and the last Javan rhino ever hunt was in 2010. The vaquita is a marine mammal that lives only in the Gulf of California in Mexico. They can measure up to only 1.5 meters long and they are one of the smallest cetaceans in the world. They were discovered in 1958, pretty recently. But since its discovery, humans have hunted them almost to extinction in a very short time. There are only about 30 left in the world and its extinction is almost impossible to prevent. The Chinese giant salamander is the biggest amphibian in the whole world. They can measure up to 1.8 meters long and weigh more than 50 kilograms. But because of their habitat loss and lower life expectancy, the average giant salamander measures at around 1.25 meters and weigh almost 30 kilograms. They are extremely endangered mostly because, as I mentioned before, habitat loss as well as pollution and overhunting for food and traditional Chinese medicines. The exact number of how many are left is unknown, but what is known is the fact that since the 1950s the population has decreased more than 80%. The western lowland gorilla is a subspecies of the western gorilla. It is the smallest gorilla subspecies and also the most endangered one. They live in Central Africa, mostly in Cameroon and Angola. The western lowland gorilla have been losing a tremendous amount of individuals with more than 60% of individuals lost in only the last 25 years because of hunting, loss of habitat and diseases. The exact number of how many are left is currently unknown, but it's estimated that even if all the threats that make this animal critical and dangerous will disappear, it will take more than 75 years for them to not be in danger anymore. The Sumatran tiger, as its name says, it's a species of tiger located only in Sumatra Islands in Indonesia. They are the most critical and dangerous tigers in the whole world. There are only around 400 to 500 left in the world. Their major traits are very similar to the Tapanuli orangutan. 
like habitat loss because of palm oil, hunting because of their skin, and also illegal pet trade. In 1978, the population for the Sumatran tiger was a little bit more than 1,000 individuals, but at that time it wasn't considered critically endangered yet. In 2008 was when it was declared critically endangered, when the population was from 450 to 775. Now they have a 110,000 acre area for their protection with a rehabilitation center. The northern white rhino is the most endangered animal in the world. As of today, there are only two of these species alive, which are both females. In March 20 of 2018, the last northern white rhino male named Sudan died at the age of 45. He was put to sleep because of age-related complications. He was the father and grandfather of their last two females. Fortunately, in May of this year, scientists tried to make an artificial semen insemination to a southern white rhino, which is a subspecies of rhino very closely related to the northern white rhino. The insemination was successful and Victoria is now three months pregnant with a northern white rhino, and they hope that in this world they can save the species from extinction.